guys what's up it's your girl monique and welcome to hidden survivors youtube channel i actually did a video earlier i was in the car i was out i was running errands and y'all know me my attention span is that of a flea so i <laughs> just i kept getting distracted as i was trying to record this video for you guys um and it was really honestly supposed to just be a short video but because i kept getting distracted and you know then i ended up reaching my destination i was just like okay this this video is not turning out how it needs to <laughs> be so i was like i'm just going to stop and you know try again another time so um i'm home now and I'm home now and I was just like oh yeah I never went back to the video so this is me coming back to the video and the video was originally just supposed to be like I said a quick video and I just wanted to get on and share with you guys what I have been doing lately for some self-care let me see if I can put this down there we go um, I was just sharing with you guys what I have been doing lately for some self-care and I don't know if I this is such an, an unflattering angle yuck <laughs> we just gonna we just gonna hold the phone uh I don't I know I recorded a video or at least I think I recorded a video I don't know if <laughs> if I recorded a video where I stated that I'm on a journey right now, like I committed to taking this whole week and giving myself some self-care. Like every day I wanted to do something to just, you know, take some self-care because I've been feeling just uh lately and just in a funk and still having a hard time getting out of it. So I was like, let me just give myself some love. So it started, it actually started Saturday, but I officially started Sunday. So Saturday I took the entire day and I just rested. Like I forced myself to not do anything and it started on Saturday because I have been suffering from a migraine for like two weeks and it just would not break. So Saturday was really an unplanned rest day. It, my body was just like, I need it. So I rested and I didn't do anything on Saturday. The migraine finally broke. I felt better. Head was still hurting, which is normal. You know, you have a migraine for two weeks, your head's going to hurt afterwards. So, um, Sunday, what did I do on Sunday for self-care? Sunday was Easter and I, oh, God, I, I don't remember what I did. <laughs> I think I played some PlayStation. I watched church, um... And I think I played PlayStation on Monday. Today's Wednesday. I know yesterday I played PlayStation because I started a game and I finished it yesterday. So I think on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I was playing this game. And I also, I have an app on my phone for the Bible. And there are these Bible plans and I have been working on this Bible in one year plan that I'm like <laughs> half a year behind on. <laughs> so, and it, it also reads it to you. So you can either read it or you can, you know, do it in audio form. So I've actually been listening to that, which has just been, that's been the biggest thing for me. Um, listening to the Bible and playing PlayStation have been the two, my top two self-care items so far. And uh, yesterday I went and I got my hair done. I took my, obviously, right? I took my braids out. 
So I went to the hairdresser and I got my hair done, which was an experience. Uh, I like my hairdresser. So, you know, I'm new out here where I am. I'm normally from Boston, had my hairdresser for 10 plus years. And, you know, obviously couldn't bring her out here with me. So I had to find someone new out here. Found a place. And I like the place. Um, I like the hairdresser. The problem is she has someone else who, like, washes the hair. Like, she does the hair, but she'll have, like, a girl who does the wash and the blow dry. And this girl freaking sucks. Like, she sucks. Uh... She barely washes your hair. She doesn't wash it thoroughly. And she almost scalped me when she was blow drying my hair. I'm surprised I still have hair. Um, Cause this girl was just... That's, it just, it was horrible. Um, so I I need to when I next time I book an appointment I need to tell homegirl like listen I'm gonna need you to be the one to do my hair like don't if I have to wait in a, another like 15 20 minutes because your hands are in somebody else's head I'll wait 15 20 minutes so you can wash my hair and blow dry me because that girl I'm gonna be bald if I keep coming in there and she keeps doing my hair like she's not washing it thoroughly like she ain't even get the back of my head and I'm like I just came off of some braids like my hair was flaky and and dirty it needed a good wash and she just didn't do it like my hair is still flaky and it was it it was washed that shouldn't be a thing anyway um so got my hair done that was <sighs> I don't want to call that self-care, but it, it, it was self-care. You know, you, you got to take care of yourself. <laughs> you got to take care of your hair and your skin. And, and, you know, that's part of self-care, even though it wasn't the most pleasant experience. I think that's probably why I don't, it didn't feel like self-care because it wasn't like a pleasant experience. Um... But I also went and got some sushi, got some of my favorite sushi, which definitely was some self-care. Um, came home, played some PlayStation. Today I had some business to take care of. I had some errands to run. So I did a lot of that stuff. And right now I'm just sitting back and I'm watching YouTube. And I'll probably... I also was listening to the Bible earlier and I'll probably, I don't know what I'm going to do later. Honestly, I don't know. I was going to say that I'll play some PlayStation later, but, um, the game that I just beat was Metro 2033 and there's three games in that series. There's Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, which is what I'm watching on YouTube and I'm watching it on YouTube because I don't have that one. And then I have the third one, which is Metro Exodus. So I was having a hard time getting into Metro 2033, but I have this thing where if I start, I have to finish it. So I started it, was having a hard time getting into it, but I finished it. By the time I finished the game, I was like, okay, this is, you know, I it's kind of cool. And it at least roped me in enough that I do want to see the series through. I want to see how the story ends. So since I don't have the second game, I'm not buying it. I'm going to watch it on YouTube and then I'll play the third one. So I don't foresee me watching this entire gameplay today or tonight. <laughs> So I'll probably, you know, just wind down, watch some YouTube and maybe listen to my Bible later. And that'll be my self-care for today. Tomorrow I have some more errands to run and maybe tomorrow I'll play some PlayStation. I don't know. But I just wanted to share the journey with you guys, share what I've been doing 
maybe, you know, give you guys some ideas or tips as to things that you guys can do for self-care in your own day, in your own day-to-day -day lives. Um, because it is hard. It's, it's hard when you're not used to putting you first, when, not, when you're not used to taking care of you or like doing something nice for yourself. It's hard to be like, okay, self-care, what does that mean? What do I do? How do I do it? What am I going to do? Like, it's just hard. And then even when you think of things like, oh, you know, I'd like to do this. I'd like to do that. It's like, okay, well, how do I work this into my day? And, you know, it's just, it's a lot. So I'm doing these videos and sharing this with you to maybe hopefully give you guys some ideas as to how you can incorporate some self-care into your own lives and inject some self-care into your days. And even if you can't do something every day, even if you give yourself a couple of days a week or you give yourself a weekend or you give yourself even just one day just give yourself some self-care because it helps you to recharge your own batteries it gives you a way a chance to rest and it gives you a chance to just enjoy yourself to enjoy life to just be happy and not have to worry about anything else or anyone else and you know that way it gives you the ability to be there. If, if you're like me and you're like, you're always there for someone, it gives you the ability to keep doing that because you're taking care of yourself and giving yourself, your body, your mind, your spirit, whatever it, it is that it needs, you're feeding yourself. So, and that gives you the energy to keep going. So I just wanted to share that. I didn't want this to be a long video for you guys. But I hope you guys got something positive out of this video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you are new, welcome to the Hidden Survivor family. If you're not new, welcome back. I love you and I appreciate you all. Thank you all for watching the video. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.